Hi YouTube, I'm here to answer a question that I had and that question was um, would the gimbals that I have right now be able to support the weight of uh, Samsung Note 9? And like everybody I went to YouTube also and look at different videos and I saw that uh, many people showing that it, it, it does work, right? And as a matter of fact, uh, let me show you. Right now they're in the off position. This one has my Note 9. This one has a Samsung S8. The weight is quite noticeable. So let's say, as you see, it works. But what you don't see is, or feel actually, is how heavy it feels in the arms and in the whole balancing of my Smooth Q. Um, this is a Smooth 4. So, the whole trick about uh, gimbals, and many of you know, it's almost perfect balancing. The better that you balance any object, a camera, whatever you want to uh, stabilize, it, has, it depends on the almost perfect balance that you put on your arms. As you can see, the rolling, the rolling uh, action right here of uh, your arm feels very heavy comparing to the one in the S8. As you see it balance, that's what you want to see in any gimbal under any situation using uh, any camera, any other gimbal, cranes, whatever. But as you can see right here, this does not work. And it's gonna ruin your gimbal faster than if, you, if, we, if we will be perfectly balanced. Okay, now, how did I um, fix that? Um, I used to have older gimbals and back on the day, because the motors weren't strong enough, they use counterbalances. In a, in these ones, there's no way to put a counterbalance. Uh, so what I did was, if you can see this right here, I just attached a little washer into the end of the rolling arm and started adding weights, basically magnets. It's right here. And started adding magnets. As you can see, once I started doing that, I got almost perfect balance. And that's what you need. You need to keep your weight as counterbalanced as, as uh, best stabilized without using that uh, using the motors before starting up uh, starting up your uh, gimbal uh, as perfect as you can and now if we can see it is so much more responsive you don't feel that much uh, strength on your rolling arm and it works a lot better I am um, I tested it with and without weight, and I can tell you that the uh, uh, the life of the battery it's so much better with weights. Uh, it's almost like half without the weights, and as the batteries are um, dying, you can start hearing uh, like grinding noises on your on your motors, and you don't wanna you don't wanna do that. You don't you know that's, that will ruin the motors. So basically. Uh, all I did was, again, I bought this type of round, um, round magnets, and they're about a dollar, dollar ninety nine for four at Harbor Freight Tools. This right here, it's like twenty cents, depends on where you buy it. I bought it at the Home Depot. Uh, this right here, I had a bunch of tape like that, and it's very, very strong. So. It's as simple as putting some some of this tape, this double-sided tape in the back or whatever you want to use as back or, or front. Some sometimes one is shinier. And you just attach it 
to the end of your rolling motor arm like that now the only problem that I found with that is like you know I'm kind of sometimes perfectionist I guess and I kind of wanted to have it right there in the middle and it was a little out of sight and it wasn't what I liked right uh, if you're like that once you put it on don't try to peel it out because you will actually ruin the cover this is a plastic cover and uh, this is strong enough to pull it out and, and it'll break it trust me I almost did so what I did is like if I didn't like the position that I put it on I used one of these uh, spatulas and started kind of like taking it out like that like that, like that and boom, until it came out um, and this, this is a method that you can use on walls you can use in a bunch of different applications once you use uh, tape strong enough as this uh, which is the uh, 3M extra strength and, and that's it guys I mean um, uh, I, I hope this stuff that I show you um, this method uh, helps you I mean it helps you save the uh, life uh, of your motors and again you can get as fancy as you as you want once you find the right uh, the right weight the right counterbalance or counterweight you can uh, this is one that I already know that it works perfect you can just uh, spray it with a plastic uh, spray or rubber spray so you can do a cover on top of it and make it look nice so but that's up to you I mean you can get as fancy or as, as you know as not fancy <laughs> yeah, like I did but anyway uh, I hope this again that this helps you um, save your motors um, and let me know if you like it or if there's anything that I will, that you like to see difference um, you know I don't do a, a lot of this so the, I'm not here to get uh, really likes or anything I'm just here to help you and you know save your money um, so you don't make the same mistakes I did thank you guys